me just be very clear about one thing. This video is not... This video is not necessarily a Valentine's anti-hype video. Anti-Valentine's hype. Hype anti-Valentine. However you want to phrase it. Here's the thing. Valentine's Day can be a very interesting time for a lot of people. And I haven't really come across a lot of people that don't really celebrate it in some way, shape, or form. I see see I, I've joked I've joked about I've joked about the life of being single before. And I don't really I don't really say it as like a joke, like it's my life right now and I'm cool with that. Honestly, like I don't really go and like actively seek out relationship you know I I don't know I don't know if that's just like not where I'm at right now or that's just like not me at all I don't really know I haven't figured that much out yet I just kind of like if it happens it falls into my lap you know just like once but that was it see the fact of the matter is being in a relationship is a bit like climbing a mountain in my opinion anyway you start at the bottom, you kind of wonder whether or not you even want to climb it in the first place. Sometimes, when you actually start to climb it, it wasn't even your decision that caused you to climb it, which is kind of weird. But sometimes it's just how it works. It's not a lot of ways relationships can work. For me, I don't really worry about it. It's not really not where I'm at right now. Would you, would you stop, please? Thank you. See, here's the thing about humans. We can be introverts, we can be extroverts, we can be amiverts. It doesn't matter. But even deep inside, we all just kind of have this, this longing to connect, you know? Connect with a person or a group of people or an idea. And that's why so many people put so much value and so much time and so much energy into finding somebody or to finding a relationship or being with somebody or being a thing, you know? Because it connects back to that deep internal desire that people have, that we all have, to find find meaning, to find to find something greater than this, just us. You guys really bothering me. But it's a good day outside, so I'm not going inside. But the fact of the matter is. Relationships ain't easy. It ain't work. That's why. Uh, that's why. When you get into a relationship, uh, people get out of them really easily because they want to be lazy. They don't want to do any work. Whoop. Relationships fail. Because this guy is being really loud with his lawnmower. That's why they fail, ultimately. I feel like relationships fail for a number of reasons. One of the biggest ones that well, I've had the misfortune of witnessing is, well, there's a couple, there's a few reasons really, but people just don't understand the sacrifice. They don't understand the sacrifice, they don't understand that it takes time, that a true meaningful relationship isn't just one that you isn't one with somebody that you meet your first, second day of high school and you just randomly decide they're gonna be my boyfriend or they're gonna be my girlfriend. It doesn't work that way. The most meaningful, true to life relationships are the ones that take a lot of time to be strengthened and chiseled out and molded, crafted. Sometimes it takes months, sometimes years, sometimes it takes a lifetime. I picked a great day to be outside, didn't I? Find yourself in the middle of a relationship that you think is meaningful and there comes a day where it seems like it was really easy. You might have a few questions to ask yourself. Look. What I'm here to tell you is that if you have this desire to be with somebody but you're not, you don't know anybody you consider being with, you don't know how to go about trying to find somebody, like I really don't either. 
not entirely anyway. Don't stress about it too much. Especially if you're below the age of 25. Number one, you have a lot of time left, statistically speaking. Number two, statistically speaking, might just be better if you focus on making sure your life is in order first. I've heard a quote somewhere a couple times. It's pretty cliche, to be honest with you. But it applies to both guys and girls, I believe. And it goes something like, don't work so hard on finding the perfect person to be with. Work first on making yourself the best you can be. So if you're not in a relationship with somebody, I say use that time as an opportunity to make the most of your life. Whatever opportunities arise. Don't worry about relationships. Don't worry about people, necessarily. Be yourself. Be content with where you are. Because know that if you do find somebody, and it is someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with, potentially, it's going to take a lot of hard work. You better be prepared for it. Sometimes I wish I had someone. You know? I've talked about being single. I've talked about liking the single life. I do. Like, I don't know, having free time on my hands. A little bit anyway, because I'm pretty busy. I like having free time on my hands occasionally. Having more money than I would if I was with somebody occasionally. I'm not ready for that relationship life yet. I'm trying to keep this divorce rate as low as possible, if you know what I mean. And again, I've been there before. Been in that situation. I don't see anything particularly wrong with it. I'm not being a Debbie Downer to Valentine today. Valentine's great. If you got a Valentine, celebrate it. Be nice to that person. Be thankful for that person. And if not, if not, at least be thankful for the people you do got. Capiche? Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> In other news, that's not involving Sad, depressing, stop crying, please, oh my god. Not involving sad, depressing, lovey-dovey, Valentine's Day, single things. Fortnite Friday actually starts... This month. Fourth Friday, Fortnite. This month. Fourth Friday night, fri... Fourth Friday night, Fortnite. Small preview, like 10 second preview. And start here. Oh man, why do we have to move? Right here, right here. Where? Uh, southeast of south. One. Oh, oh he's I shooting. see. He's shooting. They're still in that. They're still in that base right there. Knocked him down. There. That was a shot and one? a half. Yep, I knocked him down. I can't see. Oh, him I see him. I see him. I see him. Knocked him down. Oh. Okay, okay. Go. Nice. Nice! Yeah. Cool. Um, what else? Anything I want to talk about for this vlog? Nice. Nick, you're on my vlog. Right can now, I ask you? Yes, could you? Could I, could I ask you a really weird question? Maybe. Based on the time that this vlog will probably be aired. How do you feel about Valentine's Day? Boy. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Bianca's taking me out. We're gonna have fun. Who's what? Bianca? Who's Bianca? She's my best friend. Oh, no, Galentine, Galentine's Day is a thing. Galentine's Day. Galentine, wow. look it up. It is a thing. Uh, Palentine's Day? Is that a Palentine's thing? Palentine's Day? Hang out with my pals. I have never Why celebrated not? Valentine's Day. I am 22. Um, ladies, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Static. All the way up.